where the rules are pretty much it's the last guy standing. See who can come out here and survive or suffer, depending on your point of view, the longest. So it's going to be interesting. My name is Chris Weatherman. You know, this is every boy's dream. When I was about eight years old, I read a book called My Side of the Mountain. And as about a kid, about eight or nine years old, that runs away from home and lives in a big hollowed out tree in the forest. And he catches a falcon, you know, and trains it and stuff. So at eight or nine years old, it really got me interested in that, going out and living that way. Everything here is wet, everything. The humidity is ridiculous. You know, I'm from Florida. I'm used to high humidity, high temps. Here, it's high humidity, low temps. It's just, it's horrible. It gets through your clothes. You, I mean, you can feel it in your bones. And, and that everything being wet is going to be tough. You can definitely live here. There's a lot of resources. But staying warm and dry is it. That's the key. I mean, yeah, there's ocean, and yeah, there's trees, but they're entirely different from where I come from. <laughs> you get a fire here, you better keep it, tend it, because that's going to be the difference between making it and not making it here. You get a fire going, you're going to be ahead of the rest. Of actual fears, my biggest fears are the, the big predators, uh, you know, because I'm pretty much defenseless, because I'm unarmed. And being unarmed is an unnatural state for me. I'm not used to that. All this camera gear and stuff, you know, we're learning to be cameramen kind of on the fly. So there's a little bit of anxiety there, too, to make sure we film this in a way that, that everybody's going to like it and want to watch it. Oh, boy. Look at this. Well, as they say on the street, it just got real. There goes my ride. They're leaving me. I am now officially on my own. So, this is it. <laughs> not that, uh, not at all what I envisioned. Not even a little bit. I guess in British Columbia, beach is a relative thing. Doesn't look like any beach I'm used to. But uh, I'm gonna have to move in a little bit to build a shelter and stuff, because there's just nothing out here, really. I mean, it's. It's just a little floodplain kind of thing with blackberries and raspberries and brambles and every kind of other thorny bush known to man out here. So I'm about to go inland to uh, get a shelter going. But yeah, not what I expected, but it don't change nothing. I'm here, and it's game on. So I said I had a motto for this, and it's embrace the suck. Who can endure the suck the longest? So let the fun begin.